This is, um, it's really hard, even hard to put in words. All the, all the like positive emotions that we are all feeling uh, being here, man. It's, uh, you know, we, we were all friends before coming here, but now like everybody's just like family, you know? Um, like I'm so grateful, I feel so blessed to have the opportunity to not just to train with Cyborg because he's been my friend for a long time and we've been training together for a long time but to be able to put together him and my some of my friends from Brazil you know that are some of the best guys some of the best grapplers in the world so you know it's every day is a massacre here in training but every day we leave with a smile on our face and man we're already missing each other like you know I don't know how we're gonna be. We're gonna be able to continue with like a regular training after this, man. Because seriously, it's it's been more than amazing. It's something that you know. Uh, they say, oh, they, some of them think it's not gonna repeat itself. You know, it's it's a once in a lifetime. I don't think so. I'm gonna really, really push, really push for it to happen again and again and again and again. So you know, it's been the best first time in my life I've ever been part of a like a pro training camp like that. You know, with like three world champions, four world champions, um, and like you know, like there's like five of us or six of us over a hundred kilos. So really high level jujitsu, really strong people, and I like I think everybody's just gonna rip it when when we when we get to ADCC. Definitely. I mean, it gives you a lot of confidence getting to go with uh, the ADCC absolute champ on a daily basis and, you know, just the energy he brings and the leadership he brings too is a great, great energy every training. We really push each other, you know, there's no egos in the room, but everyone's there trying to push hard. So it's a great environment to, to get better and feel we're building some really good momentum here. He's a great guy, man. A big, uh, a gentle giant, you know. Not when he's rolling with you, but you know, uh, just personality-wise, he's, uh, he's the friendliest guy you'll meet out there. Obviously, Andre is an awesome competitor too. Uh, I think Cyborg, you know, he takes him down, keeps the top pressure on him. I think that's the recipe to beat him. You know, so we'll see. You know, it, it's a, a tough fight either way. You know. He's like um, an older brother, like uh, he's a mentor to me. I don't know like uh, how I can start to talk about him because uh, I'm, I'm one of his first students, literally. I remember the day that he was opening a school, I walk in and I started training with him. I look up to him a lot, you know, I look up to how successful he is how he improve as a human being, how he deal with other people, about his professional life. Well, this is a very exciting match. Uh, at 
first, you know, Andrea is such a good grappler that I, like, I would be, I was like a little bit like, like, uh, concerned about like, uh, how the match would play, but uh, <laughs> after this training camp and how much effort we've been putting on training, how much, uh, I see that Cyborg improve mentally, physically, see the progress and everything. Like, I think that he, it's gonna be an amazing fight, you know? Like, that's how I wanna put, I just wanna see, like, as much as a beautiful, beautiful technique that these two guys can put. And uh, I'll, I'll be, like, uh, all in with my, with my coach. Uh, with Berto Bill Cyborg and uh, and uh, hopefully see him uh, next year on the next super fight again. Uh, always incredible training with Cyborg. He's very determined and he wants to win. He plays to win. Yeah, I have an incredible training here. Uh, obviously, Cyborg. We got the in house crew, Jean Gabriel, Rodolfo Vieira, Braulio is here today. Got the best of the old school, best of the new school, and uh, bringing it. Training hard, training hard. Uh, I believe in Cyborg. He trains hard, puts his work in. He's determined, he makes a sacrifice, he puts forth his best efforts. And uh, he's gonna bring it. I know it. I know he's gonna bring it. He always brings it. He always gives everything he's got. He's got a. He's gonna put 100, 110 percent heart in the game. And he'll be. He'll be there to win it. Yeah, I, I do. Oh, good, man. Oh, good. I couldn't miss. If I'm in the same state, I cannot miss that opportunity to come and, and train and see the, those warriors just prior to the main tournament in the world, you know? Everyone, like, on fire. It's good. I like to be in this kind of environment. That's like my, my lifestyle. Interesting fight, you know. In my opinion, uh, Cyborg has the stand-up advantage, has the weight advantage, you know. That he's very big to be able to get hold of. To score a point on him, it's going to be very difficult. So if this fight goes to the extra time. Cyborg has a very big advantage. Uh, in the other hand, Calvão is uh, he's very. Um, cautious and he's very smart on points and position. All right, and um, but the only thing that I can see is Cyborg losing this fight is for a mistake on any kind of max submission. You know, because if he gives it back, that's going to be a possibility for Galvão to capitalize. But but if he, if uh, Cyborg is uh, expecting and be doing his, whatever he can to avoid that, he has a good advantage. You know, he's been training very hard. He brought the top guys in the whole planet on the from up to date guys you know, to train with him, which gives him a very big confidence. He's a guy that uh, worked very hard for his uh, uh, battles and he's giving him his all for that. You know, he's been looking forward to that. I'm sure Andre Galvão has similar uh, characteristics. You know, he's a warrior as well and he's focused 100%. But um, Galvão uh, is going to be a tough opponent and it's not 
you know, unexpected because it's a uh, super fight, right? He's uh, the two best men out there in the, in the actuality. And uh, we have been good friends since. And uh, I'm also a good, uh, good friend of uh, Andre. So I'm not going here to talk about pulling in those sides, you know. I'm just giving the overall uh, opinion of my own. And I, ha I haven't checked uh, Andre for his camp, okay. I'm sure he's doing his best. Uh, I have more contact with Cyborg. I've seen him several times this year. And this guy is a beast. He has a very good uh, mind frame right now. And he really wants that. Uh, so it's gonna be really gonna come down to whoever la uh, make less mistakes and on the day of the competition. You know? Also a great example of now older guys like for example we have a uh, sensor Braulio cyborg they're both gonna be like 42 uh, next year me myself I'm 31 and you know it's like you know it's everybody you got like three masters here but we're just proving that age is you know it's uh, it's just a number and it's just in your head you know like yeah and in a little bit of the gray hair or no hair. <laughs> but, you know, it's amazing, like, when I'm his age, I want to be like that also. Like, you know, he's really a role model. I remember when I was like a teenager, he did his comeback um, after surgery. And he won double gold in the European. And that's when I met him at Worlds. And I said, man, you're a great example. And you know, when I'm your age, I want to be like that. And then he also won the double gold, the ADCC. You know, so it's like, man, to me it's a pleasure to be with these legends on the mat. And I just want to, when I'm old like that, I want to also, man, you know, have the strength in my body to, to be able to train with the young people. Us. Us. When, when I grew up, I want to be like him one day. That's what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs>